In early September, white Democrats from the Georgia legislature expelled 28 African-American members. In response to being thrown out of government, Philip Joyner of Southwest Georgia led several hundred freedmen on a march from Albany to Camilla for the Republican rally. But as the marchers entered the courtroom square, the sheriff and other locals opened fire. A political rally resulted in a dozen freedmen being murdered and 30 others injured. At the time, Georgia had just been readmitted to the Union, and this massacre sent a clear message. Two months later, during the presidential election, most Black voters stayed home. But the Camilla massacre made national headlines, along with other massacres that occurred in the South at the same period of time. This prompted Congress to return Georgia to military occupation. 